Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessTrader.com uh, nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is having a wonderful day. Hope everybody had a good day of trading. Uh, hope everybody, again, just doing really well health-wise, personal life, and all that stuff that makes life uh, interesting, right, to say the least. Uh, if you are brand new to the channel, uh, welcome aboard, guys. Welcome aboard uh, the day-to-day -day, uh, mission to get better as traders, to get better as human beings, uh, and just look at the market from a day-to-day -day instead of a macro level, because again, we're not investors, uh, we are traders. So welcome aboard, hit like, subscribe, share, come aboard, and thank you very much for spending 10, 15 minutes with us uh, on a daily basis. So last time we saw each other was yesterday. Uh, the market had an absolutely ridiculous run, uh, sparked by the July uh, jolts numbers, and in the process, we reclaimed back uh, the 50-day moving average on the QQQs. Why is that very important? Well, that broke the downtrend uh, that we had since losing the 20-day moving average on uh, August the 7th. So it's August the 2nd. So it's basically a month worth of selling that was engulfed uh, in the last few sessions. And more important, we reclaimed back the 50-day. So the question was going to today's session, if you watched last night's video, was where, well, where are we going to have are we going to have kind of a rest day, kind of a little bit of a distribution? You know, we're tired, uh, you know, let the prices digest a little bit. Or is the market now that we're above the 50 day going to price improve on price action? And it was just a little bit of both today, but uh, the some stocks rested, had great, great runs yesterday. They did rest. Uh, some stocks price improved. We'll get to the pivots in a second, but more important is the queues continue to build. Now we're day two. Uh, above the 50-day moving average, and the Qs as an ETF did improve. Uh, a lot of names that we were talking about yesterday, the Netflixes of the world, the Apples of the world, they reclaimed back their 50-day moving average, and that's going to be uh, kind of the focal point for a lot of names. Like I talked about in last night's video, uh, when you have the, the ETFs, right? The ETFs uh, getting above a significant area of supply, slowly but surely, it doesn't have to happen every day, but slowly but surely, all those, those components in the NASDAQ 100 are going to start slowly but surely uh, bidding up as well. And that's exactly what happened today. Like I said, we saw that in, in Apple. Uh, we saw that today in uh, Netflix. I'll give you guys uh, one other ETF in a few minutes that could potentially uh, reclaim in the next couple of days. We'll do that uh, in one second. But other than that, uh, you know, good session today. Um, really good session today. Um, some really good moves on the big market leaders uh, tomorrow. Guess what? We have more data. We have the PCE tomorrow, uh, and then we have the NFP on Friday. My goodness. I mean, enough with this data. I mean, how much more can we take? They're literally saying exactly the same thing. They're just stretching out in two, three, four day basis. So uh, I don't know about the rest of you guys. I had it up to here with all this data, but again, this is part of uh, our world. So let's talk about uh, let's talk about today's game, right? Let's talk about today's session and what we like uh, going into tomorrow. Again, when you start building above uh, a macro level, you don't have to dissect it that much. Again, right now it's bullish, right? If we ever lose back the 50-day moving average, it won't be so. So if you are uh, swinging any stocks, especially from yesterday, or you put on swings today, just keep in mind this 70, you know, this, this 370, 371 area in the queues. As long as we continue to stay up above, risk is on. As once we get back below, as you can see here, well, then risk is off and then become sell bias. But for, for now, uh, no news is good news. Continue to build, continue to move up, move up your stops. As long as your swing uh, doesn't take out the previous day's low, you're good to go, right? That's the whole point. As we discussed in last night's video, that's the whole point of a stock or an ETF or a market in general that is sitting above supply, which is acting as demand now and continues to put in higher highs and continues to put in a higher low. So let's talk about uh, some pivots from from uh, from today and then I'll give you some pretty decent ideas uh, for tomorrow. We talked about Tesla last night. Remember that guys? We talked about Tesla. I said, hey, listen, I, I don't know uh, if the stock was gonna go today. You might have an inside day, a res day, but if it finally confirms, maybe it finally really, really wakes up. 
for the majority of the morning, Tesla was red, right? Majority of the morning, it traded down, traded up, tried to kind of, kind of go sideways. And then finally in the morning, it finally got above this 257.50, 258 level. It needs to confirm the 50 day. Ironically, it did spike, right? It, it, it did spike and gave us a nice spike here. Uh, it gave us a nice spike here in the middle of the day. And they got caught up here in the supply zone. It went up about three bucks. Uh, it went up about three bucks, but here's the good news, right? Here's the good news on Tesla. The good news is it closed right above the 50 day moving average. So now it's technically two days in a row above the 50, where we need to see the stock kind of play out. And we did see some 260, 265 weeklies uh, coming in. That kind of sparked the rally today. Again, it went up about $3 and change uh, before it came in. But the point is we need this Bollinger Band. You see this upper Bollinger Band? We need this upper Bollinger Band to get lower. So next time around, if they could start confirming today's channel and this Bollinger Band is lower, that's when the stock can really, really wake up. But ultimately, a good productive day on Tesla. It had this magic run yesterday, confirmed today, went up about three bucks, came back in, but ultimately ended up with an inside day, lower volume, but consecutive two days in a row, uh, two days in a row, closing above the 50, 50 day, which is absolutely good. The next time it closes below the 50 day, then we'll have a completely different uh, conversation. Uh, Apple, right? We talked about Apple last night's video, right, folks? Uh, Apple, 185, right? 185, folks, needs to build, right? 185 needs to build. Uh, Apple took out 85, reclaimed back the 50-day moving average. You see what we're talking about, guys? It's the same, you're going to hear the same conversation here over and over again. The more days pass that we continue to stay above the 50-day, you're going to see a lot of names creeping back and reclaiming major levels. And again, uh, for all, especially for new traders, I don't think you guys, you know, realize unless somebody really tells you, you don't see every single day that major, you know, major levels are being reclaimed, right? Reconfirmed. So it's a very, very important time. Anytime you see a stock getting back above the 50 day, you want to attack that with a little bit more aggression than usual channels of continuation or random moves on the intraday basis. It's very, very important. So Apple had a great run today. Uh, had almost a three dollar run. It stopped at the Bollinger Band, first close above the 50-day. Watch this thing for the next couple of days, guys. If it could just get above this whole channel here and clear out this Bollinger Band, maybe this thing goes higher. You know, maybe it starts pushing higher with the Qs because you have a 190, some 200 uh, short-term expiration call buyers coming in the name. Apple looks good. Again, is it going to rest tomorrow? Maybe, maybe not. But it's, again, same thing with Tesla. As long as it keeps on building above the 50-day, uh, it's all good. NVIDIA, right? We talked about NVIDIA possibly seeing that 500. Well, 491, 499, 491, 493, 33, the pre-market highs needs to confirm for a potential 500 push. And that's pretty much what NVIDIA did. NVIDIA, again, uh, continues to run away. Just an absolute monster, continues to run away, took out this whole channel, took out the 491, the 493 pre-market highs, went all the way to 499. Uh, you know, next stop, you know, again, it's not going to go up every single day, but you have to assume it's going to start to attack those earnings highs at some point, maybe in the next couple of days with all this data coming up. But again, great job uh, for all you guys who took that uh, as well. Uh, Coinbase got above this 86.26, never put in a second uh, second entry. Airbnb uh, never got above the 133, never came close. Uh, the queues, again, continues to build. The 375.13 needs to confirm. Here are the queues. Right, took out the 375.13 and traded all to all the way to 377.5. and a half. Again, market continues uh, to build on yesterday's uh, day. Uh, Netflix again. Here's another example. Right, it's gonna you're gonna you hear this in nauseum. For, again, another example of a stock reclaiming the 50-day supply. We talked about Netflix in last night's video. 432.20 needs to confirm. Right, the 50-day here was Netflix. Right, Netflix right up about what six dollars. Great move on Netflix again. Second day above the fifty day. Great move there as well. Uh, I O N Q sixteen sixty needs to build. Here's I O N Q. They came for some short term expiration. I O N Q traded up to seventeen and a half. Looks good. Continues to uh, point uh, higher. And Boeing was a dud. Uh, Boeing went up about like fifty sixty cents and came back in. Uh, nothing there. Dollar Tree never confirmed second entry. Um, and you know, we were trading Tesla. I was going to take some off. I wanted to see if we get the 364, got the 360 and a half, but I uh, kind of died in the volume towards the afternoon. And I believe that's it. So that's, you know, that's, that's, that was a day, really good consecutive day 
of uh, some pretty good uh, value coming in. Tomorrow, right? Tomorrow. Let me give you guys some ideas for tomorrow. Uh, the next index that potentially could reclaim the 50-day moving average is the IWM. In my opinion, the IWM is the least important out of all of them, but it does represent speculation money, a lot of small mid-cap names. Uh, it touched today just like everything else, just like Apple, just like Netflix, just like, you know, everything. It touched the 50-day moving average today, right? You see it? Touched the 50-day, got rejected. If the IWM can start reclaiming back the 50-day, maybe you get, maybe all you guys are trading these small and mid-cap stocks, maybe they could wake up, guys. So watch the IWM above today's channel. Meta, right, is not there just yet. Not there yet, right? I was waiting. I was watching it again also today. It's not there yet, but the one thing that I always like to see before the price action of the stock is option flow. In the in the afternoon today, they started coming for the 300 and the 305 weeklies. It's not that far away, guys, from reclaiming back the 50-day moving average. And if it does, look how much airspace you have. So definitely one to watch in the next couple of days. And a small one, well, a smaller name I want to give you guys. Look at uh, Plant Palantir, right? Palantir, this is kind of coming off the, uh, the, 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 the success of the AI for NVIDIA, Palantir closed the first close above the 50-day, right? The theme, watch Palantir tomorrow. If they could start confirming today's channel, they were coming for the eight, 17 and a half and $18 short-term calls. If this thing could start confirming back above the 50-day moving average, this thing could really, really wake up. So keep an eye on that. Other than that, that's all we got, guys. A good, get a good market, very aggressive. Stump stocks are gonna rest. Stump stocks that can confirm, but the key metric here and the key data here, the data point is as long as we stay in the queues above the 50-day, the higher probability we'll continue to build and you'll see higher prices. Guys, God bless. Just as a reminder, uh, there are there is no uh, Thursday night video. That is my usual uh, nightly kind of decompression. I take the night off. So if you are planning to join us tomorrow in the webinar, I think there's a link in the comments that you guys can take advantage of a 30-day kind of kick the tire uh, type of scenario. See if it's the right fit for you. But more important, guys, stay blessed, stay happy. And with God's help, I'll see you all tomorrow. Take care.